I cannot believe you're here at the Jennifer Hudson show, for one, because the last time I saw you, it was at the Sing premiere. Yeah. And then Graham Norton's show. Yes. Do you remember that I at do. all? Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I do got remember to think up with him. Where are we? Okay, that's Sing. That is Sing. Okay. Yes, it we were is. We in that film together, and it did we well. Did. And it, it did, did well. very well. You know, and now I get to sit here and chill with you on. the second one. The we, your second, yes, third, fourth one. I would love that. Okay, you are the coolest ever. Do you realize just. Cool you are. Do I, you think of yourself like that? I guess look, there's so many definitions of cool. I I think, right? I mean, there's, hey man, be cool, <laughs> and then there's, but the, the I think the real the real definition of being cool, and I guess when I am the coolest is when I'm just most myself. Yeah. Which is what I think is the coolest thing about any people. Well, when people are just themselves, I don't care if they're nerd, I don't care what they are. That's cool. Even sound cool. You hear that? Are your kids as cool as you? Um, I, I, well, they're, well, they're, they're working on it. I, I, <laughs> my my uh, son, Levi, we pulled up this old picture from a magazine when he was like three walking down the street and had a quote for me. I did not remember I said this. And they said, what's your hope for your son, Levi? I said, I, I hope he's cooler than me. And he was like, what's that mean? And I gave him that definition. I said, man, I hope you, are, you, you can learn to be yourself better than I'm trying to learn to be myself. Because yeah. it's, it's something to go through. The, I love that. that. And Levi is your oldest son. He's huh? my oldest. And you just allowed him to join Instagram? Just allowed him for his 15th birthday. Oh, wow. That was a big decision for Camilla and I. That's a big decision. So they weren't allowed to go online, huh? That is amazing. Now, you know he wrote like this dope, cool letter about you. What do you write? Yes, let me show you. I want you to read okay. it for yourself. Let me find it. Because your kids are amazing. You check it out. Check it out. People think. know Matthew McConaughey as an actor and now a writer, but I know him as my father. The man who always makes time for us no matter what. The man who's always there for us no matter what. And the man that taught me to appreciate the journey and not just the destination. The journey's just getting started. Happy birthday, Papa. How yeah. cool is that? See, the things your kids will write if you pay them a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel like No, that makes that? me feel, I mean... You know, I did not pay him a hundred bucks, but <laughs> he, um, well, it makes you feel like what you're doing as a parent's translating. Right. You don't know some, you know, mirrors are a great, uh, kids are a great mirror of who we are, whether it's in true. friendships, what someone will say about you. You're like, oh, you're reading my mail. It's nice. Cause sometimes it's not always what you're that intended is, to be. Right. That's right. And to read that, that that's what he's getting from me. Uh-oh. Right. Now you get cool points from dad. Come on. You're the minister of culture. Yes. Can you explain what that means? Yeah. So, minister of culture. They have ministers of culture in other countries. That it's not something you have in the in the United States. There are people that oversee in countries uh, music, tourism, youth, sports, and sort of a self-given title mm. <laughs> to myself with the University of Texas. I teach a couple of classes there at the University of Texas. I'm involved and know a lot of the athletes. And what I've noticed is there's a lot of things that you got to do to win and be a champion on the field that you also have to do in the classroom. They're not that, not that, not that different, whether it's uh, preparation and teamwork. Uh, um, there's a lot of virtues and values you, you need to win and be a champion on the field that you also need in the classroom and in life. So the Minister of Culture is my work trying to say, hey, in the classroom at University of Texas, through the academics and on the field or in the pool or on the court or whatever sport it is, let's, let's, let's cross-pollinate these values to make sure that we're being in sports, badasses with character. Mm. You know what I mean? And you're a badass too, so do you apply those things to your life and your career and all your success? I try to. I mean, I, I uh, look, sports for one has taught me mostly about preparation for my work. Yeah. Um, that's where I think a lot of my success has come from, is I'll, I'll prepare more than my opponent so I can get in the game Mm -hmm. and call audibles and improv and riff and let's wing it. But that's all because usually when I prepared, well, I can do that. And I think that's a good lesson for life across the board. I talk to my kids about it all the time. Delayed gratification, mm. right? One of the things I think we want all of our children to understand is like, hey, you can invest in yourself today or sacrifice something today and get a reward tomorrow. Wow. Kids don't think like that, right? We want right. the cookie now. You can give me two now or I can have 10 later. Give me my two now. I'm yeah. not betting on later. <laughs> but you know, they learn to kind of bet on themselves. And I remember when I, when I won the Oscar for Dallas Buyers Club, the kids were like, what's the trophy for? Uh-huh. Right? 
And I said, do you remember though, that, that movie Popeye was making a year ago, and y'all said I look like a giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, remember that? And I said, well, the work I did a year ago, they yes. gave my peers gave me a trophy for a year later. And it clicked in their mind that when they go, oh, you can do something now and get a reward for it later? I said, damn right. That's, you can do that in life. You're a great teacher. Trying to be. Oh, my goodness. Who cool dad, great teacher and an Oscar winner. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's talk about this tequila. <laughs> yes. Ooh, you started this with your wife. Tell us the inspiration behind the name. Well, it's her favorite. Favorite juice, tequila. So we said, why don't we make one ourselves? So we partnered up and made what is in this bottle called Pantalones Tequila. Took two years, 47 tastings, which those were very fun mm. to find. It. On the 47th one, we found what is in this bottle right here, Pantalones. So we got good juice in there. We, we, we kind of noticed that, you know, tequila's gotten a little snooty lately. Oh. Kind of kind of like wine. People like to talk about tequila like wine. And we're like, no, it's tequila. Let's it's have tequila. some fun. Hence the name Pantalones, because we said, Oh, man, we've had a lot of fun with that art on. <laughs> you look like you're going down memory lane. Go down memory lane, and then you got all these toasts, like, hey, here's the Pantalonis, because none of us would be here if our parents had kept theirs on. Listen! We, we make cheers to our children, because <laughs> they wouldn't be here if we kept ours on. <laughs> I mean, and it goes on and on and on. So, Pantalonis, may you have fun with her. With that and there you have it. Now, do you have this billboard and you have no pants on? Please pull this up. What is happening Let me see. here? That's us. <laughs> oh, my. Thank you for the pixels. <laughs> Thank you for the pixels. So, this is just a second number one New York Times bestseller still today for Just Because. <laughs> I can't even comprehend it. How does that feel? Well, it feels great. I mean, look, I, I started, I've been writing all my life. I put the first book out, Green Lights. I didn't know how I was going to do it. It seemed to translate. And then I had this dream of this ditty from, that I wrote down for Just Because. And I wrote it down and put it out as a children's book. And it's doing pretty doggone well. So you know how it is. You put any art out. And when yes. it translates, it means, again, oh, like we talked about with Levi's text mm -hmm. to, uh, post about me. The reflection comes back. And if it's close to what you wanted to do, that feels good when people go, yes, I get it. Yes. I get it. Congratulations. Do you have a favorite moment or excerpt in the book? Can you tell us? Uh, I got a few. So look, this book, just because it's about, look, our children today are, 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 are even adults feel this way sometimes. It's like we, we're being told you got to feel this way or that way. It's one or the other. Mm. Black or white, this or that. Uh uh. That's not just that. This is not how life works. Right. You know, you can be, how many times, I mean, my kids have said, I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm really nervous, but I'm also excited. Right. I, is it okay to feel those two things? Like, yes. Yep. It is okay to feel both. Actually, that's good you feel both those things. Mm -hmm. You know, so I put together these couplets that just, I think, open up the, the poetry and innuendo of living that say that these things aren't contradictions. You know, I think two things, two feelings can exist at once. Um, let me read this one. Here we go. I got a picture of a little girl in bed, right? Mm -hmm. Just because I'm finished doesn't mean that I'm done. Oh. Right. She, after, after mama said go to bed, she got on the covers and read, keep, kept reading the book. <laughs> we all been there, right? Yes. This one down below, just because uh, you got the gold does not mean that you have won. I love that one. Right? Look at how he got the biggest present, right? He is winning. But what did he get? Yes. He got a pair of socks. That, <laughs> right? So that's, that's, that's actually uh, from an example of, of, of in our family. My mother loves to have the most presents at Christmas. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll wrap anything. And, and, give it to and everything, right? So we'll also do this. She likes to have the biggest present. So we'll get a big box, wrap it really nice. She'll be like, oh, is that mine? And we're like, oh, yes, that's yours. <laughs> and she's like, it. oh, I got the biggest present. And she'll open that box, and inside uh -huh. there is another box. Oh. And inside that box is another box. And inside that box is another box. And inside that box at the bottom, there's a little, like, Tiffany's box. And she's like, oh, you didn't. And we're like, we did. And she, she opens it. that Tiffany's box, and you know what we got in there? A Q-tip. <laughs> That is funny. <laughs> like, just because you got the gold doesn't mean that you won. Um, so anyway, it's about, it. it's about, um, you know, the, 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 the poetry life. And, and I think we need to let kids know that it's okay, especially now while you're young. You don't have to know everything. Be a kid. I live, love try that. Things that out. is such yeah. a great message. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel.
Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.